camp about 20 minutes ago. There were some monkeys along calling in the front of the camp. Uh, we just came across the tracks of at least one wild dog. And we just heard a hyena making a bit of noise a bit further south here. Let's see if we can find. He was running. And right behind us. Another hyena. They're running in the direction of the tracks again. So that one wild dog track is going in the direction where these hyenas were are running too. Drifting around the corners. Yeah. Ah, uh, to there, eh? Hey? Yeah. So the tracks have gone off the road eventually, going into this thick bush. The road coming up here is really up around to. Right, so we have come uh, for what do you think a kilometer more? Yeah, I'd say it's about a between a kilometer and a k and a half. From where we first found these hyenas running, they've this is obviously where they heard whatever they'd heard, sniffing around in the grass here. No immediate sign of anything yet. Folks, we've just got a message uh, from Mike. I'm not quite sure uh, what the situation is, but we're going to find out in a second. secretive about what he's doing here he won't tell us what he's doing just got off the vehicle to I don't know miss that bush there so it's not really a secret um, we had a few requests for you know for us to focus on some of the smaller stuff so 
what you have here is a branch from a tree called a Terminalia sericea, more commonly known as a silver cluster leaf. See these trees here, you can see them in the distance there, they've got a bit of a silvery tinge to their leaves, which is the easiest way to recognize them. So what happens is a female gall wasp will come and land on this branch. Um, she will then, with her ovipositor, lay a single egg inside the branch. The tree, in a response, um, you would have seen some trees where they've been cut or damaged. There's a swelling that grows around that area. That's how the tree tries to protect itself. So the tree would have detected that you know, something has sort of attacked it. It then sends these rapid growth hormones, known as gibberellums, to that area to protect it. What happens then is the tree inadvertently creates a protective layer around that egg. When the egg hatches, the larvae will slowly eat its way out. See that little hole there is where it exits. Um, so once the larva is left, or well, the wasp is left, often spiders and things will use the inside. You see it creates a, a nice little home inside, nice safe, safe start to life. Ooh, Right, folks, so Jeanette, Jeanette, Hello. <laughs> what did you just see there? There's a leopard lion in this tree. I still can't see it, where is it? Yeah, in that spot. In the marula there. Well spotted, son. Oh my goodness, that was well spotted. Okay, so it's very far away from this camera. My four eyes, Gareth. My <laughs> four eyes. X-ray vision. That's what these things are Let's for. see the other side of those glasses there, Jeanette. They're still broken. I fixed them twice, but okay, they're so broken twice. Jeanette's on lockdown with broken glasses. And this is a sad situation. You can still see things. And you can still see <laughs> things. <laughs> you see, there's a female leopard in the tree here. And there's a hyena feeding on something at the base. Gareth, which yep. leopard is it? That looks to be the Three Rivers female. So we are live streaming this sighting and um, you'll be able to find the video now if you visit latest sightings Kruger's Facebook page and then scroll down to a video that says live from Mala Mala Game Reserve. And look out for three different videos. There were two of this sighting and then one with the Cubs of the Kimbula Pride from yesterday. Out here on Mala Mala Game Reserve, part of the Greater Kruger National Park. Keep the hyenas moving. She is going to see if there are any scraps left over. Part of the important work being done now during the period of lockdown. So we're going to be asking if this period of lockdown is going to be the situation of the wildlife is very different. Raymond Pierre asking how many leopards are left in Kruger. 
I'm not sure the exact number, but it's a very healthy population. And in fact, in this area, which is adjacent to the Kruger National Park, Mala Mala and the Sabi Sands Game Reserve, is one of the densest population of leopards in the world. So we are the first to see the leopards in my camera. That is why we love female leopards. Always playful, always doing things, posing beautifully. Well, well maybe not the rest of the morning, but again, as I said earlier, it's a, it's a young female, so there's actually a good chance that she will move again from here. female leopard so we started the morning looking for that pack of wild dogs which we did not find but so often while you're looking for one animal you find another as was the case today as I said we are going to go back to camp now some of the other guys will be going out to set up uh, try set up um, camera camera traps maybe or a time lapse where that crocodile is with an impala kill see if we can get some feeding activity there Otherwise, yeah, we hope you enjoyed the morning. Um, part of that leopard sighting we actually filmed live on Facebook and you can find that on Kruger Latest Sightings Facebook page for a different perspective of that sighting. Um, we hope you enjoy that as we hope you enjoyed this. <laughs> 